flip-flops. You love them or you hate them. For some reason, they're a very controversial sandal. But what if I told you that that style of sandal is actually one of the most underrated and powerful forms of footwear you could possibly wear? But not actually literally flip-flops, but before I tell you the real ones, we gotta talk about feet a little bit. People have been moving away from wearing shoes that have a lot of cushioning and arch support because they don't allow the foot to use its incredible natural muscles. And over time, this leads to weakened feet that rely more and more on the support of a shoe. The same thing happens with an elevated heel, where the calf muscle doesn't stretch out as much as it would, which actually affects our posture. And not only this, but having those big cushioned heels encourages an almost unavoidable and intense heel striking gait when you're walking or running, which transfers impact force straight into the knees and maybe even affecting the hips and the back. They've also noticed that most modern shoes constrict the toes, which are meant to splay out when we walk and run. Over time, our foot structure adjusts and our toes get stuck smashed together. Just check out a person's feet who never wore shoes and you'll see how much of a difference this can make. Imagine how much this affects the function and health of a foot, which is an incredibly powerful and complex machine evolved specifically for the movement of our human bodies. And imagine how much more they're damaged by the compound effect that modern footwear can have. And the negative effects of restrictive footwear don't just apply to conventional shoes. Look at Chacos, one of the most popular modern sandal brands. They look kind of nice and outdoorsy, but notice, super thick sole with arch support, elevated heel, and actually a restricted toe box. You would think in a sandal, your toes would at least be able to kind of splay out, but the cratered footbed and the strap that hugs your toes together still restrict the foot. It ends up almost being just like wearing a shoe. And the same issues arise from other popular brands like Birkenstock. Enter thong sandals. That doesn't sound any better than flip-flops, but it's what comes up when you look up between the toe sandals. The first and most defining feature of these sandals, of course, is the strap that goes between the big toe and index toe. <laughs> this is a huge benefit for your feet because your toes are allowed to splay out with no restriction whatsoever, unlike having a strap going over your toes and constricting them. This way you can reap the full benefit of wearing sandals, right? No toe box, completely unrestricted, your feet can rest naturally. And with barefoot, like minimal sandals in particular, they have a completely flat footbed. They're not shaped like a boat, right? They're not entrapping your foot in a certain position. This allows your foot, once again, to function as they're made to without weakening your complex musculature. I wear Shama sandals, which have plenty of space for your toes to splay out without coming off of the sandal at all. And they've also added a heel strap and an optional power strap to fully secure your feet so they're not wiggling out of your sandals. They're actually made specifically to be run in, right? A lot of people use these as their primary running sandals. People have even run marathons wearing these. I have four pairs of Shama sandals that all have slightly different attributes but I am a firm believer in the brand and I wear them whenever I can afford to. Ugh. They're my first choice of footwear, period. Some people like to rag on this style of sandal, like the kind of cross toe thongs <laughs> sandal, but I personally love the way they look, right? I think they work really well with my style. People ask about them all the time and I proudly rep these any day. The Cruiser is this shoe, and it's a great introductory option if you're interested in Shama sandals. Um, they'll get the job done, they'll get you used to this style of sandal. And then spending more, you'll just get some like better strapping, some better tread, as well as different options of leather footbeds if you want. There are other options too, of course, right? There are various sandals you can get from Zero Shoes, and Earthrunner is another brand, for example. But the point is this, if you want footwear, that just gets out of the way and allows your feet to work how they want to while remaining functional in supporting you and what you need to do, then there aren't many better options than these.